Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter, and today I'm going to make a scene entirely in Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to be using a variety of products today. I don't usually use this much stuff, but I wanted to use this die. It's a really cool looking cage. I love things that are vintagey feeling and this one really is on release day when this came out recently i did a little bit of white pen work around the edge of the uh, the cage and i just wanted to do it again so there you go i'm going to do that on this one the color underneath i'm just using distress oxide inks with a blender brush to smoosh the color on just keep tapping on more color depending on what i wanted and i wanted that nice transition Got out the Constellation die, stay tuned to the end of this video to find out why, and die cut it from some navy blue paper and added a little bit of an aurora borealis to the background just by adding some of the peacock feathers and a little bit of picked raspberry, and smooshing that on again with the blender brush. I'm getting more comfortable with this blender brush, not super comfortable, but I'm getting a little better with it. And these are the ones that are by Trinity, if you're wondering. The wheels, I did the outer wheel, the part with the detail in a lighter color and then the darker color underneath. And then I die cut two elephants from the other circus set. The dies for the cage thing, the little, little wagon thing, are in a different set than the animals. So this is the elephants. And I did two of them and I'm gonna face them different directions. And this is just with the die, no stamps involved in this. And then I wanted to make some grass for my scene. So I took the wave die and turned it upside down and made a little scallopy ground. And I'll use some peeled paint and apply some ink to that one as well and throw in some secondary color with some black soot. And that will give this the feeling that it's at night because it's gonna have this nice bright color so you get the idea that it's green, but then you're also going to have this nice rich dark color at the bottom of the card because since it's going to be nighttime I want to anchor it with something dark down at the bottom. So I'm just taking my ink and smooshing away and one of my little tips that I'll give you I've done before here on YouTube is to if your your ink is not blending really well dampen it on a baby wipe damp the brush on a baby wipe and that tends to make things smooth out quite a bit more. So here's my ground that goes on the bottom of my card. I have the panel a little bit longer than my die cut sky background, so trimmed off the edges that hung over. And I added stars wherever there were joints in each of the constellations. So they're joined then by the dotted lines that are embossed into the paper or, the, or cut into the paper, I guess. And then the stars are up on top. Now here's the elephants, and I screwed that up. It looks really weird to have that white dot for an elephant eye. But then I thought, wait a minute, what if I cut out another elephant and color it, and just cut out the head and the ear portion of it? I glued the snout, the trunk, down flat with adhesive, and I put a little dimensional adhesive under the head, so then it lifts up a little bit from the body. And then it looks a little dimensional, and I just made a little u-shape for the eyes so that they're looking kind of like i don't know they're dreamy they're, they got their eyes closed because they're going to be in love on my card the cage is now on here with some dimensional adhesive and i was trying to put my elephants in and i realized their butts need to go under where the dimensional adhesive is underneath of there and i kept trying to shove it in didn't work so don't don't cry for the elephant i snipped off his butt so i could tuck him in and you could also do these too, if you're gonna do this card, you could do them in pink and blue and make them a little couple in love. So I'm gonna snip off the butt of the other one, knowing that I'm gonna need that in order to thread it through and fit it in there where the dimensional adhesive is underneath of the edge. And then just kind of tweak them until they kiss, until their little snouts kiss. And isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. I loved the idea when it kind of came to my mind about how to put this together. So I've added in the wheels onto the card and then comes some of the fun detail part. I love all of the little detail bits that I always add in with this white pen. 
It just makes everything look a little more dainty when it's got little tiny details. So I'll speed this up and zoom all the way around, add lots of little dot patterns around everything. Add a little more doodling, some hearts here and there, and make sure everything's got all of its little pretty details on it. And then adding, of course, a little bit more at the bottom because the bottom didn't have any dots on it and it was ready to cry. So I accommodated it. <laughs> And then all I did was stamp the sentiment on it and embossed it. You are pretty amazing. And this could go for a couple in love. It could go for someone you love. It could just go to a friend. And look at that beautiful constellation die. Do you see that there? Ellen Hudson is playing a game. Go check out her social media. And the constellation could be your answer today to the game. And you might actually find a little something something there. So go check it out. Link in the doobly-doo to her Instagram, and I will see you guys again very soon. Take care. Bye.